Hey, it's Rachel Adelisha, and this is Investment Piece. And today I really, really want to get into what is an investment piece. I know so many people think I mean designer when I say that, and I'm not going to lie to you. I love my designer pieces. I often save up years and years and years for them, like this Gucci blouse. Um, but I don't necessarily mean designer when I say investment piece. So fun fact, I named my blog Investment Piece as kind of an inside joke. So my mother is an accountant and very number oriented and very thinks in those terms. I do not. In fact, I have a tank top that I used to wear to conferences with her that says I'm too pretty to do math. And while I can do math, I, I do think that I lean, I mean, look, I'm not going to make you tell me I'm pretty, but I lean way more creative than I do on the math side. And so... <clears throat> When I named my piece or my blog investment piece, it was kind of a joke to that. that I, I'm always going to invest in Gucci or Chanel or Fendi or Prada, Valentino, all the things before I, I probably invest in anything else. And fun fact, um, I don't know if you've read, even in Forbes, they'll tell you that having those kind of bags, even Tory Burch has better resale value than gold. So we may be onto something. But I don't necessarily think designer equals investment piece. I actually think an investment piece is something that you will wear, you will wear a lot, and adds value to your life. So like for me, I wear denim button downs with almost everything from my yoga leggings to my suits to my skirts to my shorts with everything. So from very low end to very high end, I will buy a, a denim or a chambray um, button down because I wear them all the time. And in fact, I work out a lot and I love my spin classes and I love my Pilates. So great leggings that don't see through, I'm going to invest in them. And I think it goes with that. Like I think the, um, the fact that we're saying investment piece, it makes you think big, right? You're thinking big, you're thinking designers, you're thinking investments for the long haul, which I hope you are. But I don't think that it has to be something over the top. I tend to love party dresses. So I invest a lot in party dresses. I also collect vintage. So I invest a lot in vintage. But I also, again, love my workouts. I um, love a great fitting pair of jeans if I could talk. Um, and so I really think an investment piece depends on your life. And I think that's why we have to cull our wardrobes consistently. We have to say to ourselves, not only what am I wearing, but what do I need to wear? Do I need to wear a lot of suits? And then even if you're not really a suit person, you probably need like a great blazer and a great skirt and a great pair of pants. Um, am I a yoga teacher? You probably need more than one great pair of yoga pants. Um, do I have to carry a bag to work? I probably need a great leather bag, be it Gucci or just great leather. Um, am I a circus trainer? I probably need colorful sequins that are of the best quality. I think investment piece is not necessarily confined to one certain piece. You know, if I tell you in general, like you should always invest in a great black blazer, that's great general advice. But if you never, ever have an occasion to wear a black blazer, why would you spend most of your money on it when maybe you need, like I said, the yoga pants, or maybe you need heels, or maybe you need a bag or a belt. It, investment pieces are all about what does your life need? What does your wardrobe need? What do you love? What do you love to wear? What makes you happy? And how can that item enhance your life? Um, I bought this Gucci uh, shirt um, years and years ago, but I wear it at least once a month with everything from cutoffs to skirts to shorts, um, which I guess is the same as cutoffs, to pants, to suits. And it always makes me feel amazing. And yet at the same time, I wear this denim shirt probably almost every other day. I mean, seriously, it gets washed so much just because I throw it on all the time. It's my go-to shirt. So to me, both of these are investment pieces. And I have a ton like that in my closet. I have a ton that's super high-end and it's a ton that's not. 
I think it's more looking at your life and thinking, what makes my wardrobe easy for me? What do I feel good in? What do I look good in? What's the highest quality I can afford? And going from there. So I would love to know from you, what do you think is an investment piece? What is an investment piece in your closet? And what are you shopping for? I know for the season ahead, I'm thinking about great sweaters that I could wear for forever. I'm thinking about great trousers that I could wear for forever. And maybe a boot or two that I could wear for forever. Because that's where I need them. I'm also going to restock my leggings drawer and my sports bra drawer. Sports bra drawer. Um, that was hard to say. Um, simply because they need refreshing. And because I wear them every day, they're an investment piece. Um, I can't wait to hear your answers. I can't wait to continue this conversation with you. This is Rachel Adelisha, and this has been Investment Piece.